This is how you allocate a data marker on your chart in Excel. We'll start off by creating a brand new row called selector. In there, we're going to start off with a very simple formula called rows. And you're going to say D5 and you're going to press F4 once to make both row and column fix, colon D5, close parenthesis and hit enter. Now, if you apply the same formula right across every row, you can see that it creates a sequential running number. Now, we can use this to our advantage by using if open parenthesis, this cell location value, we're going to press F4 to make both row and column fix for this particular cell location equals to the rows output. We're going to display is adjacent quantity use value like this. If it's not equal, we're going to just simply say NA as an output, close parenthesis and hit enter. Now, if you apply the same formula right across, you can see that when you put a one in here, you will show the adjacent value for row one. And if you put three in here, you can see it changes accordingly. Now to draw the chart, select your data set like this. Then you press alternate F1 on your keyboard and resize and reposition your chart. Once that's done, go to chart design, change chart type, click on combo on the left hand side of the menu. This one here, you're going to say line chart and the selector, we're going to say line with marker and make sure that the selector is assigned to the secondary axis and click OK. Now to make this line into a smooth line, right click on this line, format data series, lines and fill. And if you scroll all the way down, you see smoothen line and you see your chart looks like that. Now to adjust the secondary axis so that it matches the primary axis, right click on the secondary axis, format axis and basically match the axis range which is going to be a thousand for the secondary axis and hit enter and then your marker and the line should match up like this now go ahead and delete the secondary axis including the chart title and let's go ahead and introduce a data label for this marker select your marker make sure you're on chart design add chart element data labels and we're going to place it right above the numeric value for that marker location now to add a spin button, click on developer. If you don't have a developer on your ribbon, right click anywhere on a ribbon, customize ribbon. And from this pop up, make sure that you have a check next to a developer and click OK. Once that's done, go on the control section, insert under form controls. You're going to select spin button here and place a spin button anywhere on your worksheet. Right click on a spin button here and go format control on the context menu. Our current value, a default value you're going to assign as one. And the maximum value, we have five rows of data here. So that's why we put five here. And the minimum value is zero. And the cell link is going to be this particular location itself. And hit enter, enter. And before you test, make sure you click anywhere and make sure that you are not in design mode. Now, if you click up, the marker will move towards the right side. And if you click down, the marker will start to move to the left. 